1938, 75th anniversary of the Battle of Gettysburg, President Roosevelt spoke to the remaining few Civil War veterans. Veterans of the blue and the gray, on behalf of the people of the United States, I accept this monument in the spirit of brotherhood and peace. Year after year, the nation remembered. In 1930, veterans of the Union Army marched in Cincinnati, Ohio. Four years later, in New York City, they and the surviving veterans of the Confederacy were the last link with the terrible conflict that tore America apart from 1861 to 1865. The last Civil War veteran would die in 1959, and no longer would there be living memories of long ago battles, only history and legends. Any understanding of this nation has to be based, and I mean really based, on an understanding of the Civil War. I believe that firmly. It defined us. The Revolution did what it did. Our involvement in European wars began with the First World War, did what it did. But the Civil War defined us as what we are, and it opened us to being what we became, uh, good and bad things. And it, it is very necessary, if you're going to understand the American character, in the 20th century to learn about this enormous catastrophe of the mid-19th century. It was the, 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 the crossroads of our being, and it was a hell of a crossroads. For me, the picture of the Civil War as a historic phenomenon is not on the battlefield. It's not about weapons. It's not about soldiers, except to the extent that weapons and soldiers at that crucial moment joined a discussion about something higher, about humanity, about human dignity, about human freedom. Whence shall we expect the approach of danger? Shall some transatlantic giant step the earth and crush us at a blow? Never. All the armies of Europe and Asia could not by force take a drink from the Ohio River or make a track on the Blue Ridge in the trial of a thousand years. If destruction be our lot, we must ourselves be its author and finisher. As a nation of free men, we will live forever or die by suicide. Abraham Lincoln, 1837.